<laughs> Let's break this down. A typical nerdy gamer who has garnered the eyes of millions of young kids and fans from around the world. Just like open up the shoulders, yes, right? Yes, like, we, we, we opening up the, like, the, you know. Right. Yeah. I thought you were doing jumping jacks. Is it me working out now? Huh? Oh, shit. Um, yeah, so. <laughs> from an average kid to a viral internet sensation who has opened the door to countless opportunities for the gaming community. If I do this, I want the best head ever. Yeah, play! Oh! From being stabbed at 12 years old to hanging out with the likes of some of the hottest e-girls you've seen to pissing off the most famous rappers in the world with his sus jokes Done sucking on a gun I mean wait, I'm fucking on a gun <laughs> To becoming Andrew Tate's the most searched for person on the internet BFF Close your eyes You don't have to close your eyes, it's okay I will make you Alright It's a shirt Da 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 <laughs> Us. Who is this Aiden Ross guy and why is he everywhere? This video is for the people that actually believe in themselves and you know they want to follow a dream. And you know, everyone has a dream, everyone has a passion. Aiden Ross emerged into this world on October 11th, 2000 in the Sunshine State of Florida. He would be moving around a lot as a kid and found himself between New York and California with his mom and sometimes his dad. Allegedly, when Aiden was three years old, his parents left him with his aunt for a few days. Despite his aunt being young, they still made sure to leave him with a Nintendo 64 to keep him entertained. It was then when Aiden began to develop a love for gaming. Aiden would go on to spend hours and hours playing a game called Mortal Kombat. Sure, it seems like he was like most of us kids growing up and had the typical upbringing with the divorced parents and the falling in love with gaming, but this is where it takes a slight detour. At just 12 years old, while asleep, Aiden was stabbed by an unstable family member in the arm. Bleeding out, Aiden took the knife out before being rushed to the ER. I was sleeping. Um, I got stabbed in my sleep. The mark is right. Here, you see it? Yeah. It really be your own family. He states on the Impulsive podcast that after that experience, it affected his family more than him as he put it all behind him after about a week of PTSD. Aiden goes on to talk about how him being able to breeze past that acclimated him to being able to get through tough experiences with ease. A true superstar in the making, especially in this culture. Ah, uh, the good old adolescent years. A young buck Aiden found solace in a live streaming gaming platform called Twitch. Using the moniker Aiden2 Hancho, he was able to gain a small following of about 20 to 50 viewers per stream quite quickly. With his terrible internet at his dad's house, he decided he was going to upload his clips to YouTube. The kids at school would soon find out and troll Aiden until he gave up on his streaming career altogether. Senior year came around and Aiden, reluctant to give up hope, wanted to take another approach to streaming. Aiden would take the leap to become a full-time streamer and has even said that he skipped his school prom to literally sit at home and stream. He even tried to skip graduation, but his dad said he had to go. Streaming NBA 2K19 was his job and he knew if he put his mind to it, he was going to blow up. Aiden moved to LA to live with his sister in 2020 and landed himself a job as a busboy at a restaurant to make ends meet. NBA 2K20 had just dropped and Aiden was religiously streaming. As he streamed his gameplay on Twitch, his viewer count gradually increased. Also, the COVID-19 pandemic played a role in the rising popularity of Twitch streamers, as many people were out of work and looking for entertainment. Seeing this opportunity, Aiden began collaborating with other streamers and participating in wager matches. This strategy helped boost his average viewer count from a few hundred to over a thousand and ultimately allowed him to make enough money to support himself. One of Aiden's breaks came when he was given the opportunity to play in a wager match against NBA superstar Ronnie James. This match was the starting point of their friendship, which later led to Aiden's inclusion in the gaming collective, always excelling, AE. As a partner in the group, Aiden became close with Bronny and even had the chance to talk with Bronny's father and fellow NBA star, LeBron, on a Discord server. Wait, is that LeBron? That little moment right there launched Aiden into virality and he started gaining online notoriety. Aiden started using TikTok to promote his highlights from his streams and from there, it was a wrap. Within six months, Aiden was retaining nearly 8,000 viewers per stream, all from a basketball game. That's insane. Though Aiden may not have been the best player of the game, he had other qualities that made his streams enjoyable for viewers. He had a great sense of humor, was entertaining, and had a unique way of expressing emotions during his gameplay, which made it an exciting experience for the audience. 
Around the release of 2K21, it received negative reviews and was considered one of the worst games of the year. Realizing this, Aiden decided to pivot and explore new ways to keep his viewers engaged and entertained. He introduced a segment to his stream called E-Dates, where he would find a pretty girl and set his friends up on blind dates. The friends would have to compete to impress these girls and it was funny because they had literally negative riz. I mean game. As Aiden's streaming career progressed, so did his clout. He began experimenting with role-playing in GTA 5 and was eventually invited to participate in streams with rapper T Grizzly. Through these interactions, he made connections with many mainstream rappers in the scene. His unique approach of being sus with celebrities like Anthony Davis added an element that really struck with his viewers. He started playing with rappers like Travis Scott and Sheck West, and Aiden was really starting to become a mainstream name. Aiden's success on Twitch led him to move into a mega cloud house with other popular content creators such as Rice Gum and Face Banks. He also developed an on-screen relationship with Karina Koff, which they used to gain more popularity and influence online. They continued to roleplay in GTA 5 and even did a live stream in a hot tub that was viewed by over 90,000 people. This man was really living the life, getting in small beefs with other creators, bought himself a Lambo, breaking up with girls, getting new ones. Aiden really did make it. While on this role, Aiden found himself in the studio freestyling with Polo G, and Aiden being Aiden was definitely throwing Polo off while rapping. On a gun, I mean wait, I'm fucking on a gun. I'm about to put a blunt in my mouth. I'm about to go out and take this ticket. Wait. <laughs> yeah? He goes on to post on Instagram stating how Polo is so fine. And that's when Polo responded back. Aiden wasn't new to getting into Little Beef, so he apologized on stream and continued onto his path of reality with more rappers like 24K Golden, Ian Dior, Lil Yachty, Blueface, and DDG. Aiden has a special talent that allows him to consistently create viral content. He has the ability to keep his audience engaged and entertained, and his ability to create viral moments seems almost effortless. But with such a volatile personality comes drastic consequences. As Aiden has been banned from Twitch for multiple times due to violating terms and services, in April 21, 2022, Ross was indefinitely suspended by Twitch due to a 50-second clip that went viral on Twitter and allegedly showcased the streamer using a homophobic slur while on a voice call with fellow Twitch streamer Josh, also known as Your Rage. This caused a major backlash to Ross as Twitter mob ganged up on the streamer and tried to cancel him. This suspension was his fifth one to date, making him one of the most banned Twitch streamers on the site. In June 2022, after two months of suspension, Ross was unbanned from Twitch and was as charismatic as usual, trying to leave the past behind him. But worse came afterwards when, in October 2022, Aiden broke up a two years relationship with Pommy Baby over personal issues and that he wanted to deal with his problems on his own. Many internet detectives who have nothing else to do in their lives started speculating that the breakup happened because of Pammy Baby starting an OnlyFans. After some time, it turned out to be true. To put salt on the wound, in November of the same year, Ross was swatted midstream and showcased the whole fiasco on his Twitch channel directly referring to the swatter. I know exactly who you are. Later onwards, Twitch suspended the streamer's channel for precautionary reasons after he was told to leave the room by police officials. The ban lasted 27 minutes in total. Even after these events, Aiden did not stop being the charismatic person his community loved him for and kept pushing forward and even inviting more famous guests to his streams, like Andrew Tate. In December 2020, Aiden was on top of his game again and started to invite Andrew Tate multiple times over his streams. Both were starting to become friends, even challenging one another to do physical tasks. And that answers the question of why Aiden Ross is bold as he lost the bet of doing 150 push-ups in 5 minutes against Andrew Tate. Both spent time together in Dubai and had genuine respect for each other. After the arrest of Andrew Tate on December 29th, 2022, Aiden Ross has mentioned that off-camera. Andrew Tate is a genuine, caring person and he has never done any wrong to him. But he is waiting for the decision of the court about Andrew's conviction. Aiden Ross is the most talked about streamer of the decade. Whether it be good news or bad news, Aiden always gets the attention. With a loving and supportive community of millions by his side, Aiden is able to have famous rappers as guests on his streams and be on the cover of some rap magazines. Many speculate he pays for promotions, to be on the covers and on certain rappers' social media posts, 
But he'll leave that theory for you all to conclude. What can we expect for Aiden Ross in 2023? Up until now, he's been frequently asked about his relationship with Andrew Tate during podcasts and interviews, and has been trying to be respectful of Andrew. However, in January 2023, he received another ban on Twitch. This time, he appears to be handling it differently by staying positive and working on himself to improve from his past actions that led to chaos. Perhaps there is hope for him after all. And there you have it, a brief look into the history of Aiden Ross. From his rise to fame on YouTube, to his controversies on Twitch, and his ongoing journey to improve himself. It's clear that he's a complex individual with a fascinating story. Whether you're a fan or a critic, there is no denying the impact he's had on the online gaming community. Thank you for watching and be sure to tune in for more updates on his journey as we continue to follow his story. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe for more content like this. Thanks for watching.